Getting answers. TV6 investigates. Real and present danger. That's what it takes now in Illinois to keep most criminal defendants in jail. Under a new law, prosecutors have to convince a judge that a person is a danger to the community or a major flight risk. Otherwise, they go free until trial. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Redrick Terry. I'm Paula Sands. Today marks the first day of no cash bail in Illinois. TV6 Investigates' Matt Christensen was in court today and shares what seems to be different now. Matt? Some chaos in a Rock Island County courtroom today as prosecutors, defense lawyers, and judges struggled through the first day of no cash bail in Illinois. Now, what's that mean? Beginning today, people accused of low-level crimes in Illinois won't have to post money to be set free while they await trial. Paying a bail was a way to ensure defendants showed up in court. But now most low-level offenders could be released once they see a judge. Now, prosecutors can petition to keep certain alleged offenders in jail, and today that included people charged with murder, sex assaults, and drug dealing. People prosecutors say are too dangerous to be let loose. Judges took the charges, prior history, and risk to the community into consideration. I took a look at one case today, you see here on your screen, Jason Wright. He's been held for months on gun and drug charges. His wife, Rebecca, was in an upstairs courtroom with me where a screen showed what was happening in the detention hearing in another room. Set my alarm for 5 a.m. The baby was up all night because he's teething, so I slept through my alarm. We woke up at like 7.20. I threw all my kids in the car, brushed our teeth, ran out the door, and been sitting here since 8.30 this morning just waiting, listening to case after case after case. She watched each case for hints about what might happen to her husband, who was one of the last hearings of the morning. And while some high-level defendants were let go today, most were detained, including Jason Wright. The judge said he had about a quarter pound of cocaine and a virtual arsenal of guns in his house. Now outside the courtroom, Rebecca Wright's main worry was how she was going to tell her kids that despite the new law, dad wasn't coming home. I haven't thought about that yet. It's just, oh, I just walked out of the courtroom a few seconds ago, so I'm, I'm nervous to tell them because they mean, they made both my phones die. They kept calling me in the courtroom like, is dad coming? What's happening? Um, so I don't know what I'm going to tell them. I'm just going to tell them, you know, stay strong. We'll have another chance. Just got to keep fighting. The court heard dozens of cases today, but going forward, attorneys at the courthouse told me they expect to see about five or six detention hearings a day, depending on the charges. Redrick. All right, Matt, thank you. Of course, there are still plenty of questions about how this is all going to play out. We will continue to give you updates on this developing story. Today, lawmakers in Illinois are speaking both for and against that no cash bail provision of the Safety Act. The Illinois Speaker of the House saying it's an effort to correct an unjust system. Today is the day we end a system that keeps you in jail solely because you lack resources. Today we end an antiquated and unjust system that has disproportionately harmed our communities of color and the poor. Now, in some other opinions, some Illinois lawmakers claim this law cripples funding for some counties, including victim restitution. $2.5 million in Illinois bond money was applied to victim restitution in 2021. The Safety Act takes away this funding without a clear way for many counties to replace it. Does that sound fair for the victim? Well, the Illinois Supreme Court ruled in favor of no cash bail in mid-July, and that vote was 5-2. to two.